안녕하세요. 엔터프라이즈 GPU 컴퓨팅, 스토리지, 네트워킹, 솔루션 리더인 슈퍼마이크로 한국 공식 총판 슈퍼솔루션입니다. 슈퍼마이크로가 엔비디아의 최신 H108 GPU를 탑재한 신규 GPU 서버를 출시하였습니다. 슈퍼마이크로 821G TNHR H108 GPU 시스템은 8요 렉마운트 폼팩터로 8개의 엔비디아 H100 SXM 방식 GPU를 탑재하였고 인텔 제온 최신 4세대 사파이어 레피즈 프로세서를 지원하며 최대 120코어 및 32개의 DDR5 메모리 슬롯을 통해 최대 8TB의 시스템 메모리를 제공합니다. 엔비디아 H100 텐서코어 GPU를 기반으로 컴퓨팅, 스토리지, 네트워크 인프라를 가속화하고 AI 워크로드를 최적화해 강력한 AI 구현을 지원하도록 설계되었습니다. 80GB의 메모리에 엔비디아 H100 GPU가 총 8개 탑재되었고 MV 스위치 인터커넥트 기술을 통해 초당 900GB의 GPU 간 양방향 통신 대역폭을 지원합니다. 이는 현재 16배속 젠포 PCI 버스의 대역폭보다 14배 이상 빠른 속도입니다. AI, 딥러닝, 머신러닝 및 HPC 워크로드에 최적화되어 있으며 대규모 AI 작업을 지원하는 HGX, H108 GPU 시스템은 가장 빠른 엔비디아 NV 링크 및 NV 스위치 인터커넥트, 그리고 엔비디아, 퀀텀2 인피니 밴드 및 스펙트럼4 이더넷 네트워킹을 사용해 최상의 노드 간 통신을 지원합니다. 이전 세대 AI 학습 애플리케이션 대비 9배 향상된 성능을 가지며 혁신적인 공기 흐름 설계를 갖춰 밴, 속도, 소음 수준, 그리고 전력 소비를 낮추고 궁극적으로 총소유 비용 TCO를 감소시킬 수 있습니다. 슈퍼솔루션은 디지털 전환 시대에 따른 다양한 AI 고객군들이 딥러닝 연구에 필요한 다량의 워크로드를 처리할 수 있도록 AI 시스템 고도화 수요에 적합한 AI 및 HPC 리소스를 제공하여 고객 맞춤형 GPU 시스템을 제공해 시장을 선점해 나아가도록 하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 안녕하세요. Fortunately, I have with me today Alok Shristoff, our senior solutions manager for this product line. Alok, thanks again for being here with us. We appreciate thanks, it. Thanks both for having me. We happen to have two of these universal systems here today. We've got this 8U and then the 5U. Comes in a 4U, but we've got this one here in, in the 5U. The 8U has the eight GPUs in it, and this 5U has the four. Right now, we've got the NVIDIA H100s in there, but why don't you start by telling us why we call it and have branded it universal systems. So to begin with this particular design, um, it's a very unique design from Supermicro. And at Supermicro, as you all know, we follow this building block architecture. And on this particular system, it goes to a whole new level. The modularity design and all the system, the building block, it goes to a whole new level. On these platforms, you can simply divide it into two, the upper deck and the lower deck, or the upper drawer or the lower drawer. And the lower drawer is with motherboard. And uh, with minimal changes, what you can do you can swap the motherboard and similarly on the upper deck this is where the accelerators or the gpus are here also you can do the same thing you can swap the gpus you know we have all these options available it sounds really great yeah this building block approach has yeah. really been super for super micro because it allows us to get our products to market so much more quickly than some of our uh, competitors time to market is key and especially when we're running applications like these do in the artificial intelligence world and they're so important that we have them to our customers just as quickly as uh, as possible uh, we'll we'll get into the uh, gpus here because we'll open this up but why don't you first give us a little overview we've got the storage down here with the 24 drives comes with eight then we've got an option for eight more and with another controller card yeah. you get up yeah. to 24. Tell us about that and of course the huge amount of memory we got in, on the inside there. So on the specs real quick as you mentioned this is you know powered by Intel's Xeon scalable fourth generation processor right. It is a dual processor so two processors 32 dim slots. All these uh, dim slots are DDR5 so compared to the previous generation it used to be DDR4 so it's a big change. This is going to be DDR5 memory and uh, since uh, there are 32 DIMM slots, it can go up to 8 terabytes of local memory. At the same time, it supports NVMe U.2 drives by default, you know, eight, 8 of them. And these drives are via PLX switch. So what it means basically, this storage capacity is available for GPU direct storage. On top of that, you have option of adding 8 more drives and it has two M.2 drives for operating system as well. 
on expansion slots. This supports PCI Gen 5 bus, so it can go up to 400 gigabits per second NICs. By default, it supports 10 of them. Um, eight are via PLX switch, so those are available for GPU Direct RDMA and GPU Direct storage. Two additional cards for additional networking. On top of that, you know, very important thing on this particular system that you, you pointed out correctly, that uh, that is going to be a DPU. So DPU is a third, you know, compute block or a compute unit at a node level. So CPUs for serial processing, GPUs parallel processing, sure. and DPUs will take care of the infrastructure management part. That's a whole lot of compute power. Exactly. And I always get the question, why the AU form factor? I'm sure it's because it helps facilitate with the air cooling if you go that direction. I know we have liquid cooling, but for air cooling, this really helps. Perfect. Again, a very good question. So, you know, what is happening? This is one of the biggest jump you can see in terms of components. Just to put things in perspective, the previous generation we used to have uh, the processors or the CPUs up to 270, 280 watt TDP. Now, moving forward with this next generation, it is going to be up to 400 watt TDP. So it's a huge jump in terms of TDP just on processors. Now let us talk about the accelerators or the GPUs. So on the GPUs, it used to be around 400 watt TDP. The next generation, it is going to be 700 watt TDP. So you can see a huge jump, and that too you have eight of them. So you need lots and lots of you know the, the airflow to keep that cool. To keep them cool. Well, let's take a look at those then. If we want to slide yeah, sure. this drawer yeah. out, these are the uh, again the, the Nvidia H100 in the SXM form factor. But do touch on the fact we got NV Link and NV Switch in this too, so we get the uh, higher connectivity rate. This is one of the most advanced AI building block available in the market as of today. On this platform, the beauty is that, okay, it, it has these eight XXM um, GPUs or accelerators, and all these GPUs, they are connected via um, NV, NV switch. So there is, on board, there is NV switch. So what happens is that all these GPUs, they are connected via that switch in a non-blocking architecture, which is very important. Mm -hmm. Because each GPU, it has the maximum bandwidth which is a, that is available is 900 gigabytes per second. And that too in a non-blocking architecture. And as I mentioned, you know, these are one of the most advanced accelerators. So you can imagine that you put eight of them with this non-blocking architecture. So it makes it a very, very powerful compute block. So we get 900 gigabyte connectivity between all of those uh, HEPs. Exactly, there. exactly. Because it is in a non-blocking architecture, yes. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, let's slide that back in. We'll talk a little bit now about the top one here, the 5U that we got. Uh, this is a 5U, we got the 1U here for airflow. Now this has got the 4 in the same SXM form factor, but it's got a little lower connectivity between the GPUs because it's just got the NV link. On this one again, this is also powered by NVIDIA's uh, latest and greatest accelerator. So that is H100, it is an XXM form factor again. But the difference is that on this one, there is NV switch. And on this particular system, it is only four accelerators compared to eight on this, right? Here it is four. And all these four, they are, um, they are in a mesh topology. Oh, on the ATU system, it was uh, in a non-blocking architecture using NVSwitch. Here, there is no NVSwitch. So the maximum bandwidth, what this particular system has, the H100, that is 900 gigabytes per second, that is shared with three GPUs. So for peer-to-peer -peer communication here, you are getting 300 gigabytes per second. Got it, okay. Yeah. And how about a general overview of the rest of the technology? Still, we've got the Intel processors in there. Yeah. Uh, you've got their storage and 32 DIMMs of memory as well. Perfect. Yeah, so all those things are pretty much same here. You know, so this is also powered by Intel's next generation, fourth generation Xeon scalable processor, two of them. And it has 32 DIMM slots. Again, that can go up to eight terabytes of local memory. And by default, you know, it has 10 these drive bays, 2.5 inch drive bays, and eight of them are via PLX switch again. So what it means basically, those drives are available for GPU direct storage, and two additional drives for additional storage. On top of that, you have, you know, 10 PCIe slots on this one, and um, these are also via PLX switch, so they are available for GPU direct RDM and GPU direct storage. Got it. And with these higher thermal de design points you were talking about, liquid cooling's got to come into play. Both of these can be liquid cool. Tell us what that does to help our customers with lowering their carbon emissions, uh, lowering the sound that, that uh, is produced by these servers, and uh, overall being more energy efficient. So 
you know, first of all, to, to begin with, all these, uh, uh, especially this A tube, this will be available in three different versions. There's, we're this showing one, the front yeah. or the rear connect here. This one is have... rear IO. Yep. Right? Of course. And we will have the front IO version of this one. And with front IO, OCP compliant. So there will be three versions of this one. On top of that, all these three versions, they are going to support liquid cooling. All these three. Perfect. Similarly, on this, this one right now is based on Intel. And this is also going to support liquid cooling. And we're building it security. So we've got in all these new uh, solutions coming out from Supermicro, we got the hardware with a trust that's anchored yeah. in, the, in the BMC. We have a secure supply chain. And not a lot of people know that uh, all made in the USA can be made here in our San Jose facility, right? That's uh, again a very, very important point that these are you know, manufactured here, made in USA. And as far as security is concerned, so one very important point, you know, which we would like to mention here is about these GPUs, that it comes with a unique feature that is, um, that is called confidential computing. So on these GPUs, you can slice and dice, especially, you know, for cloud computing type of environment, what you can do, you can slice and dice each GPU, and you can have up to seven tenants on this particular system because of confidential computing and this extra layer of security. Whereas the previous generation, it used to be, you know, you can slice and dice GPU into seven partition, but ma maximum only one tenant. Right, right. So we've got uh, built-in security. We've got liquid cooling because we're helping our customers reduce their carbon footprint. We got secure supply chain made in the USA. We got building block approach where we're getting these products to market much more quickly because of that building uh, block approach. All this coming together to make a really powerful universal GPU product line from Supermicro, available now. And it sounds like it's very exciting. And Alok, we appreciate you being here discussing that with us. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for having me, Bob. Thanks.